It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I went to Tesco recently to pick up a few of the new Northern Monk Brewing Company beers. And I ended up walking out with a couple of the new Northern Monk Brewing beers. And this, North Brewing Company, this company get me very excited when I talk about and review craft beer because they produce some tremendous, tremendous beers. This is North X Full Circle Future Skies, 6% ABV, Citrus IPA. 440 milliliter can. It cost me in the region of four pounds. It might have been three pound 50. Please correct me in the comments box below because I bought that Northern Monk beer about three weeks ago now. And I, to be honest with you, I didn't do any Googling. Um, but yeah, I think it was about three pound 50, four pound for this can of beer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Beer in the glass then, let's get it out. And have a look at it. Good bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Now North brought out a tremendous IPA in Tesco. Uh, it was called Lost Cosmonauts. Uh, that came out about two or three years ago now. And it just blew everybody's mind. It was £3 a can back then when it came out two or three years ago and it was for me the standout beer for, from Tesco or, or at Tesco by North it was a standout beer it was top quality every time I see this company brewing beer and putting it into Tesco's I have great hope I have great hope that it's you know it, it, it's a terrific quality of beer because if if some people know the the, the, the history of North, uh, they started out. Uh, well, I first went back there back in 2012. I first visited Leeds as part of a European beer bloggers conference. Uh, my mate Hopsey still runs runs a YouTube channel now. Uh, he took me to. North Bar in Leeds, and as you went through the door, they presented you with a book, like they would do in a Belgian bar. They presented you with a book, and it was a book this thick, full of beer. And it was like heaven for me. It was like, oh my goodness me, why haven't I moved to Leeds yet? Even back in 2012, you know? Um, just a fabulous place where you could order a multitude of bottles, you could drink a multitude of keg beer. Um, it was it was kind of front running stuff. It really was. It was well ahead of its time. Anyway, North North Bar uh, they become massive. They were already probably massively popular when I went there. Uh, they opened up another bar, then they opened up a brewery, a brew pub, then they've opened up a brewery out of town, and then the next thing you know, they're putting their beer into Tesco. But the fundamental thing still stands for me is that North Brewing Company are putting the quality of their beer over profit. Yes, it's very nice to make a profit. Of course it is. We all know that. We all like to have a bit of money in our pack pockets, don't we? But for some, for some people, the quality and the promotion of craft beer waving that kind of craft beer flag, you know, come and drink this, it's better than Carlin, has always been the fundamental message and it's always been more important than money. Let's hope that the, the same is true. I've not put this beer to my nose yet. Can you imagine if it was bad now after all of this? Uh, one finger white head. A lemony kind of lemon drop coloured beer. Hazy, yellowy, light straw coloured beer. Um, Full Circle Brew. I've had some of their beers in the past. Don't know an awful lot about them. Perhaps we'll read about the, the, their beers on the back of the can later on. But I just want to concentrate on the beer. Now I've been talking too much already. Aroma. It smells good. It smells nice and hoppy. Citrusy, lemony, 
orange, tangerine. Mmm. Smells very good. A citrus, citrus IPA. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, it's all right. Oh man, you know, built this thing up. <laughs> Built, built this. We built this. Here. We built, built this up into like an astronomical. Like this is gonna be great. This is gonna be terrific. And oh, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, mm. Oh no! But I can only be honest. What's the point otherwise? I can only be honest. Um, what I'm going to say so far is that it tastes like fruit concentrate. It tastes like ice cream concentrates. Oh man, I really hope North have not succumbed to this. Let's put fruit concentrates in our beer rather than hops. Oh my goodness me, can you imagine that? After that big build up. You know, Lost Cosmonauts and North Bar and all that stuff I was talking about earlier. How fantastic North Brewing Company are and, and, and how it is that it's more important to wave the flag for craft beer rather than a profit. Well, well, about turn. About turn, Simon. About turn. <laughs> Blimey. Thing is, I wanted to know. Um, I want to know. I don't go on and tap really. I don't go on any of the other websites and I don't read about kind of. I, I like to go into my beer reviews blind. If I don't go into my beer reviews blind, you, you, you don't get comedy gold moments like this, do you? You get me going, you know, going into the beer review a little bit guarded, a little bit kind of, hmm, this may not be great, you know. Oh, what a coincidence. It's not great because I've read a thousand reviews before, beforehand. No. It don't work like that on this channel. It doesn't work like that. We go into our beer reviews 100% completely blind on the whole subject. It's a lightly hopped beer with some tropical fruit concentrate added to the beer. And it just makes me want to sigh. It just makes me want to dip my head a little bit and just go, Ugh. why? Why? Why do this? It, and the, the fact they've used the word future. It's not the future. Trust me, North Brewing Company. Trust me. This is not the future of the beer. All of these fruit concentrate beers a supermarket led this supermarket they push i'm pretty sure they're pushed by the supermarkets um it's not something that really makes me want to have a great big smile on my face when i taste some of these fruit concentrate beers because if i wanted to drink a fruit concentrate alcoholic drink i'd pour myself a glass of orange juice and i'd put a drop of vodka in it or I'd buy, I'd go down to Blumen Asda and I'd buy a can of Rubicon or something or a, some kind of wacky tropical fruit juice and I'd put a drop of vodka in it. If I wanted to, to, to drink fruit juice and get drunk at the same time, I would do that. Because it would be far cheaper for me to do that. It would be far cheaper for me to go down to the blooming supermarket and buy a carton of flipping Rubicon or whatever it's called, fruit juice, smoothie, blooming drinks, litre cartons of Umbongo or whatever it's called and just then put a drop of vodka in it. I don't want that for my beer, I want beer. I want beer, North Brewing Company. I want beer, Full Circle. I want beer, Tesco. I want beer. I want malt and hops and yeast and water. 
I don't want this blooming concentrated stuff. It's like, it's like a massive shortcut and they all know what they're doing. They, they all know they're shortcutting. They all know they the amount of likes, you know, you go on Instagram and they ah, oh, new beer drop, yeah, new beer drop in Tesco. You know who you are. You know who you are. Just doing it the other day, North, Northern Monk Twist Edition. Yeah, you know, your big Tesco beer drop. You know who you are. People liking your posts for this fruit, shoot, rubbish. sick of it it's like i don't know it's like it's like <sighs> rubbish really disappointed i went from being really happy to really angry and it's just because i don't want fruit concentrate i don't want ice cream concentrate in my beer Wish I never bought it. Wish I never bought it. Wish I didn't bother. Um, £3.50 down the drain. I'm not drinking it. I'm not drinking any more of that. Out of bloody principle. 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. Disappointed. You know, you think, you think you're back in... You think you're kind of getting on the right... You think you're back in the right horse. Or you think you're back in a company with great ethical values. Um, great history in 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 wanting to serve great beer at their bars and and sell you great beer and they were one of the last holdouts they were one of the last holdouts um all we got left now is 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 northern monk as far as i'm concerned there's only a couple of breweries left now in the supermarkets who are holding out and producing blooming good hoppy beer that is that is just gutted i'm gutted thanks for watching please comment please subscribe boom cheers